Good day, fellow YouTubers. Mr. Shea Poulet with Shea Poulet Homestead. Check this out. We're feeding them some spaghetti. They're loving it. Brought them a new pumpkin today. They're cleaning up the old pumpkins. Look at that. Nothing left of them. Look at this. Just shrivels up after that. Hey, girls. What are you doing, girl? She's dirty. She's my little silky. So she stopped being broody. Finally. Watch out. Trying to do this with one hand. There. Look at all those pumpkin seeds that are going to be in my garden next year. You eat those pumpkin seeds. I need them as compost. Come on. Eat more. Look. Take all these here. Look. Watch this. Hey. Hey, Charlie. Well, he's starting to molt. Look at his beard. All right, so we're gonna do some collecting. Let's check on the feeder while I'm in here because I thought about it today that we should be getting low. Now we're down, down to the bottom. Can't really see, but just take my word for it. We got the, the hen that always lays on the box. All right, now we don't have. Holy smokes! I was gonna say we don't have no broody hen up there, but wow, I got ex, extra excited. Three. Holy smokes! I'm not even counting them. I'll count them after. There's quite a bit in the box. So right now, the only broody hen that I have laying on eggs is the one in the in the Rubbermaid. Good thing I got these white ones. I knew they were going to save my butt because your production with heritage breeds will go down. I mean, like any any chicken, obviously, over the years. But uh, one of the biggest things I noticed with my heritage breeds is they. They only lay every, you know, three days. Holy crap, look at the bedding, how thick it is in there. And they're digging it down. Uh, holy smokes. All right, so what do we got? We got some more. All right, so those are all taken. You know, I got some here. I'm using my camera for my eyes because I can't see. I'm tall, but up to the rafters is still up there. Now, let me see. You eating the tomatoes? Okay, so that's what we got so far, lots of whites. I'm assuming all the browns are in the nesting box. This is where they were laying before. But not even laying there anymore. <clears throat> it's weird how they decide where they want to lay and they change their mind so often. All right, so this girl, she's laying on, well, she's laying on as many eggs as she can handle. Oh, you little girl. There's some brown ones.
Alright, we're getting more and more and more. Now let's see how many she's laying on. She's probably just laying on like four, five, I don't know. Alright, so she's not super cross. I mean, she's going to puff up like any broody hen. She doesn't want you to take her eggs. Alright, so I'm going to put my hand there. I'll show you. I know, you're doing such a good job. And these are all the eggs that she was sitting on. So the nicer, darker brown ones. And I always make sure to get to get them all. Like these are nice and warm. They would hatch. But I don't want that to happen. All right, so that's the collection for today. I don't know how many eggs, but quite a bit. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos. We harvested two of my cannabis plants. They're drying right now. And, uh, yeah, the ducks. We're going to the ducks next, so... Stay tuned for the next video today. Cheers.